How about we knock out a couple of tests for these two Bissells. On the left, I have a Power Force Turbo, and it needs to have its brush roll RPM measured, as well as a couple of different particle emissions tests for that post-motor filter in whatever lousy condition it happens to be in at the moment. On the right, we have this Power Force Helix, and its brush roll RPM was previously measured at a peak of 71.31, and it doesn't have a post-motor filter, but we can at least make an effort to measure whatever's coming out of the, uh, the bottom of that machine right there. So let's get started with the brush roll RPM for the turbo. <coughs> Okay, so the turbo's brush roll speed, even with the 12 amp motor, is definitely slower than the Helix's brush roll speed. Definite, definite difference. Let's start out with the post motor filter installed. <laughs> Well, it certainly doesn't correspond to any fantastic specs like, say, H10 or H11. Um, it's not totally terrible, but uh, it's not really very good either. But considering how awful this post-motor filter looks, I guess that's probably all you can really expect. Now we have the post-motor filter out. Ugh, looks terrible. This side doesn't look too bad. So let's see what happens. Well, this kind of reminds me of, um, oh, my Electrolux Olympia 1 closed room particle emissions test. Now let's measure what no post-motor filtration looks like in this helix. <laughs>
So let's sum these two machines up. 